Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeleton, Bushcraft and Survival. Glad you could join us. And today we're answering a challenge. A good friend of mine in North Pole, Alaska, bit around a bushcraft. He's got comedy in his videos and it's just, it's an awesome watch. I, I can't say it any other way. It's just an absolute awesome watch. The guy knows what he's doing, but he adds comedy to it. It's awesome. Well anyways, he issued a challenge about cooking up different cambium from trees and eating them and showing how we're preparing them and all that. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me go ahead and switch around the camera and uh, we'll get the fire going and cook us up some cambium. All right, so we have three different species cooking. A little bite for him and I, one apiece. And we're just frying it. That's all we're doing. The three are going to be cottonwood, maple, and beech. Now, a lot of people know about cottonwood and maple, but not everybody knows about beech. Beech has a lot of healthy properties to it that people overlook. Number one, beech trees itself, even though that it takes them 40 years before they're finally producing their uh, fruits, they do eventually produce beech nuts, and those are edible. You can roast them over a fire and it tastes good. The cambium has vitamin A and vitamin C in it. Proteins, starches, sugars. Cottonwood has a pain reliever in it. It uh, has to be condensed to actually do too much, but it does have an aspirin-like compound in it, so if you're allergic to aspirin, then it's probably not a good choice for you. But uh, it also has vitamin A and vitamin C, and cottonwood specifically, you can eat the outer bark as well. Um, most people brew it up in teas to help with heartburn. And then of course, maple. Every species that I know of, besides the Japanese versions, I don't know anything about those, but every single species has edible parts on it. Some of them, you can get water from them. And beech, you can too. So I forgot to mention about that, a beech, you can get water from it at a certain time of year. Sugar maple, you can do the same thing. Like I said, specific type of maples, you can get more. Well, you can also eat the cambium on all species. And it's high in vitamin A and vitamin C, proteins and, you know, starches, sugar, so on and so forth. I mean, it's really healthy. In fact, I think these are actually done. So let's go ahead and uh, take this off the fire. And yeah, <laughs> uh, that is <laughs> uh, fire. Let's see here, I'll take a leaf over it and see if I can get close enough. A wet leaf. Yeah, but <laughs> it's hot enough. Yeah. Yep, there you go, you start seeing the flame. Yep. I had to try out my uh, new multi fuel cooker. But anyways, the first one we're gonna do is maple. Set that right there for you. And set this right here for me. And man, that was hot. <laughs> All right. Bon appetit. Almost like a potato chip. Yeah. <laughs> actually tastes pretty good yeah maple actually does that wasn't the flavor I was expecting no <laughs> no maple actually does taste good and then we've got beech right here well there you go that's beech and here's beech you ready <laughs> definitely hard to chew definitely hard to chew but it does have a good flavor to it yeah now cottonwood i'm going to warn you ahead of time 
does not have a good flavor to it. Okay. Okay. It has kind of a, a, a bitter flavor to it. Okay. Just letting you know before you uh, try it out. <laughs> All right. I like it. You do? Yeah, I like it. It kind of has a nutty flavor to it. Yeah. But it's bitter. Yeah. It's, it's extremely bitter. Yeah, I can tell by the flavor most people would not like it. Right, right. But I wanted to warn you about that before you took it. Cottonwood does have a very bitter taste. Huh? I think that's my favorite. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you like bitter foods then? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the history of eating cambium goes back many, many thousands of years, just like my good friend Rod had pointed out in his video. And I saw his video. I loved it. It was a challenge to show how that, you know, different people fix the different cambium and stuff. And like he said, make sure that it is non-toxic. Make sure that it's good trees, you know, to use from. Like cherry, you might be able to eat the, the fruits of cherry, but... The cambium is highly toxic, so do not eat that. You know, I mean, find trees that are non-toxic and stuff like that. And I would like to see what you have to offer. So if you've got some trees around and you know, do your research. Make sure that they're not, you know, poisonous or anything. Fry them up. Doing some kind of recipe. And let's see how you fix the cambium and how you eat it. That's how I normally do it. You can eat it raw, but... There's a lot more flavor to it when you do it this way. You can add salt and whatever you want to it. I mean, you know, like I said, when you fry it up like this right here, it's almost like chips. It's, it's kind yeah. of a crunchy, you know. But thank you very much for watching. That's going to be it for us. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this right here. Yeah. yeah. It was a short video, but it was fun. So if you liked the video... Hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. And remember, nature, it does provide.